This is actually what I've been doing in real life. I've been trying to clean up my everything, get rid of all my stuff, Marie Kondo it. Whenever I need to do that, what I do is watch cleaning videos on YouTube and they, they really inspire me to get it done and clean up my own, my own life. The hoarder cleaning videos, yes. Cause it's so satisfying to watch it go from a horrible hoarder house to something nice and livable. I've decided that I have too many clothes. Okay, but my problem is whenever I try to get rid of clothes, my problem is that all of my clothes are too cute. So it's like, well, why would I get rid of it? Why would I get rid of it when it's cute? But then they're all cute. So in the end, I can never get rid of anything. And then I just end up with way too many clothes. But I've decided I'm going to limit myself to only having two closets worth of clothes. That's right. Yes, only two closets. And in one rack. I have one, one clothes rack as well that I put my most beautiful dresses on. That's too much. Okay, well, it's too much because I have more than that right now. But now that I've, I've limited myself to only two closets, cause now I have to make the tough decisions. Like maybe everything is cute, but I have to, I've got limited space here now. So it's, it's battle of the, of the cute clothes here. Imagine if you've been wearing the same t-shirt for the last six years, but then every year you buy 20 more t-shirts and then you never get rid of any of your t-shirts. That's how it happens. <laughs> Cause I too have some clothes from many years ago. They still fit and they're still cute and they're still fine. So I don't want to get rid of them. You're too emotionally attached to all your stuff. Me too. Especially when something is like a gift. Like my mom also buys me a lot of clothes or she has bought me a lot of clothes throughout the years and whenever it's a gift i feel like i can't get rid of it you know because wouldn't that wouldn't that be, be rude 